it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and today I'm reviewing a beer for the second time and I'm reviewing this beer for the second time on the channel it's been reviewed before because it's got such a great reputation and I've decided to revisit some of these great beers again on the channel because maybe the first time around I was a little bit maybe wet behind the ears when it come to really explaining and really understanding what some of these beers have their great reputations for. So this beer is Lion Stout, 8.8% ABV. And there's the great man himself on the back of the label, Michael Jackson. This is a beer from Sri Lanka. When Michael Jackson decided to taste this beer, I'm not sure it had the reputation. I'm not sure if it was as widely, that was the word, as, as widely available as it is today, as it was back then. Whether Michael Jackson took the journey to Sri Lanka he was the beer hunter. This man was the beer hunter. He used to hunt beer. He used to travel to Germany and the Czech Republic and France and Belgium. And uh, so one of the story goes with Michael Jackson is that he was meant to be getting off at a certain tr um, platform. I, I, I think he had a couple of beers on a train. Um, he missed his platform and he ended up in Belgium. <laughs> he was like a Eurostar service. And I thought, or, or maybe an old clunky old train, I don't know, maybe he was just enjoying himself and he had a few beers. He ended up in Belgium. And then his kind of like beer journey exploded after he arrived in Belgium and, and realised the, the, the terrific beer. That, that's a rumour, that's, that, that, that's a bit of a fairy tale, fairy tale as to what happened with this man. Um, whether all of that is true, I don't know. But, but what I would like to know is how did Michael Jackson come about finding this lion stout? Whether he went to Sri Lanka or whether Sri Lanka invited him to the brewery. Um, I'd love to know. I'd love to know the story behind this beer and Michael Jackson's connection with the beer in the comments box down below. Let me know. It's 8.8% ABV. It's in a 330 milliliter bottle. If you're young, if you're really young getting into beer, you need to Google Michael Jackson. Not the woohoo, not him. Uh, Michael Jackson beer. Michael Jackson the beer hunter. Read his books. Check him out online. He went on to have lots of kind of like, he worked a lot with Channel 4. He was... He made his way to the late night American TV, kind of like the, 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 the late night shows on the television. He really made it. This man really, really made it as a beer journalist. Some people, when they think of beer and they think of a person associated with beer, they still think of Michael Jackson, even though I think he passed away in 2006. So here's a look at the beer then. One to two finger tan colored head. Lovely fluffy head. Uh, good levels of carbonation as you rock the beer back and forth. You can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. It, it's a lovely fluffy head, isn't it? Absolutely wonderful looking beer. Little bit of light bleeding through at the bottom of the glass, but other than that, perfect. The beer is available from our channel sponsors, beersofeurope.co.uk. Beersofeurope.co.uk. Fantastic, fantastic range of beers from all around the world. Check them out in the description box of the video. There's a great link there to visit their website. If you've worked away, if you've been on holiday somewhere, you want to try that great beer back in the UK. 
beersofeurope.co.uk. Right, on with the review. Enough talking. Aroma. Yes, yeah, brilliant. It, it's so full of wonderful kind of fruity tones. Dark, plum, fig and prune. A little bit of kind of like a molasses in there. A little bit of kind of dark brown sugars. Creme brulee, a little bit of creme brulee. Touch of alcohol, just to give you that reassuringly feel that the beer is 8.8% ABV. Smells delicious, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Rich, hoppy, so full of dark fruit flavours, plum, fig, prune. There's a little kick of alcohol where the beer slides down the throat into the pit of the stomach and you can feel that warming sensation from the inside out. On a, on a wet Welsh day here, this is just what I need. Just the warm, the cockles up inside. Really, really good beer. Really good beer. The mouthfeel is fantastic. It's rich. It's creamy. It's lovely. Now I'm really able to wash that beer around in the glass. Have a look at this. Have a look at that as I rock it back and forth. You can see that carbonation chasing the head of the glass. Great, great, great quality beer. But the, the question still remains for me. Sri Lanka. Ceylon breweries, I think. Ceylon, Ceylon breweries, Sri Lanka. Yeah, Ceylon. Uh, brewery, or Lion Brewery Ceylon. <coughs> this beer is known the world over. The world over. <coughs> Was it a case that the Sri Lankans produced this beer at such a high strength? And it was so unusual. It was so unusual for, say, the Sri Lankan beer market that everybody fell head over heels for this beer. And it just becomes such a, such a kind of wonderful, unique thing for, for, for Sri Lanka. And then, of course, that boils over into into other parts of the world and other people want to try the beer. So you've got great people like Michael Jackson seeking out this beer and trying it. It's such a wonderful thing that, that a brewery in Sri Lanka is producing an imperial stout, more or less, at 9% ABV. I'd love, to, I'd love to know the story behind this beer, behind as much as much as possible because this company now they're quite a large company they, they they're very well known if you haven't heard of lion stout and, you, and you've been drinking beer for a long, long time then then you must you must try this beer it's great great creamy rich mouthfeel a little bit hoppy, peppery, spicy, herbal, fruity, dark fruit, plum, fig, prune, roasted malt, chocolate, coffee, caramel coming through. It's lovely, lovely balance to it between the sweet malt and then you've got the roasted malt, the bitterness of the roasted malt coming through and then you've got that kind of like sweetness from the, the maybe some of the sugars that they've added, the, the brown sugars, the molasses, the the... the Creme brulee, as I mentioned earlier, that kind of burnt brown sugar taste. 
and then back to being hoppy and bitter on the back end. It's, it's, it's a wonderful beer, a real, real, real wonderful beer. So I'm going to rate it. Itchy nose this morning, my, my apologies. One of those days, it's winter, itchy nose time. <clears throat> Soft, fresh and delicious. Top fermenting lion stout is bottle conditioned and is an extraordinary chocolate mocha character. Michael Jackson, the beer hunter. What a guy he was, what a guy. I like it. I really like it. I'm gonna rate it. It looks good. Look at the beer as I rock it back and forth. Wonderful, look at the lacing, look at that head retention. Great aroma. Fantastic taste. I like it enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. It's a 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Available from beers of beer.co.uk. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.